Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here with not the best day of the year. <laughs> 14 October 2023, it's the solar eclipse day today. So what should you do? What should you not do? All right, that's what exactly we are going to discuss. Okay, and if you're new, then please subscribe to the channel and uh, like this video after watching it till the end and also hit the bell icon and thumbs up so that you don't miss any other updates. All right, God is there with you all the time, especially today. <laughs> <laughs> if only you uh, call out his names, all right? Just look to him and you will find him. And for astrological consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. All right, so we have discussed a lot on eclipses. I will not go much into detail on what are eclipses. So if you are not aware, then please watch my other videos on eclipses. But today is the day of the eclipse and I'm making this video in the night. Uh, it's dead night here in Germany uh, so that you can still see it uh, if you are in India or uh, even uh, in America, you know, if it has not started. So uh, what is the first thing that you should do? The first thing that you should do is you should chant some mantras if possible. So whichever uh, DT you are inspired by, uh, or if any, if you're in any other religion also, you know, any other mantra or any other uh, thing which you recite every day. So then that is something which we should do today and we should do it more. Okay, uh, because uh, today is the day when our energies are at all time low. And when our energies are at all time low, then what happens is we are vulnerable for uh, vulnerable to wrong things and to wrong people. Okay, so therefore, uh, if you feel that uh, it's getting a bit, mm, it's getting a bit heavier, then please chant the mantras. Okay, and especially uh, today you can uh, chant this mantra for protection from Lord Narasimha Dev, who is one of the Vishnu avatars, who is specifically uh, very merciful for protecting his devotees, as he protected uh, the great. Mahajan, uh, one of the 12 Mahajans, his great devotee, Prahlad Maharaj himself, the son of Hiranyakashapu and Kayadhu. So, we all know the story of Lord Narasimha Dev, right? And therefore, uh, if you want to harness his blessings and protection, then please chant this mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. This is the mantra. Okay, This mantra you can chant 108 times. One time, uh, this is, you know, one mala, okay? Then you can chant four, eight or 16 malas today, especially. <clears throat> or you can also chant 32 if you have time. And luckily, uh, the only good thing maybe is it's a weekend. So maybe we might have time. Or you can also chant uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. You can also chant Om Namo Narayanaya. You can also chant... The Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Or you can chant all the combination of, you know, these uh, four mantras, you know, you can chant like four rounds each, you know, four malas, four into 108 times, you know. So this is very essential for uh, protecting us from Ketu's energy today, okay, because the Ketu, Ketu is associated with this eclipse today, as we know. So now once we have chanted our mantras, you know, then what should we do? <clears throat> then it is uh, equally important that we uh, read some scripture today. Okay, so for example, you can uh, like read the Ramayana and the Mahabharat. <clears throat> you can also read uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam primarily where uh, the story of Mohini Murti and uh, Rahu Ketu is there. Okay, so it's very important that Today we are in contact with the higher vibration so that we do not give into our lower energies. Okay, So in the Bhagavatam, you can read about uh, prayers of the great devotees. Uh, you can read about uh, Queen Kunti Devi uh, in the Bhagavatam in the first canto itself. Then you can directly go to seventh canto. You can read about Prahlad Maharaj's prayers. So, uh, very, very, very interesting. A great day to read Prahlad Maharaj's prayers today, especially on the day of solar eclipse. Okay, So, 
don't miss out this opportunity eclipses are difficult times as you know this the situation in the world is not very good uh, there's a new war which is like knocking at the doors or maybe it has already <laughs> peeped inside and nobody knows what happens you know when war escalates right so uh, this is the best time to call out for the protection of lord narasimha dev by chanting uh, his man his mantras <clears throat> and by invoking his presence and more even more by reading the shrimad bhagavatam seventh canto so if you do not know where uh, you can read i'll post a link in the description section you can directly go and uh, read from there okay uh, appearance of lord narasimha dev that chapter <clears throat> and also you can read prayers of other devotees you know, like you can read uh, prayers of bhishma dev which is also there in the first canto you know the vishnu sahasranama these things these are basically prayers right so uh, you can read the prayers of the prachetas you can read uh, prayers of uh, so many devotees you know dhruva maharaj you know so reading the shrimad bhagavatam today is very 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 important otherwise now we may uh, lose the consciousness and that may uh degrade us to do like you know things which we regret later okay so this is the second thing and then third thing is you can give some like you know offerings or like you can do some more rituals you know so like offering in the sense like you can <clears throat> if you are fortunate enough to be near uh, banaras or haridwar or any any of the char dhams like jagannath puri rameshwaram or you are near to vrindavan or you are in badrinath or you know you are near to dwarka or you are near to mathura ayodhya if you are <clears throat> or if you are in tirupati you know or if you are where anywhere you are near to mayapur so uh, today is the day you can make some offerings you know go and uh, do some seva basically offer yourself okay so it's like there are certain things which every bham has you know like tirupati is known as pushpa mandap which means there a lord venkateshwara is uh, like offered flowers okay in awe and reverence okay so if you are near to tirupati and you can do it uh, then that's excellent okay and uh, if you are in vrindavan then vrindavan uh, the way you get purified there is by getting by rolling in the dust of vrindavan because that is where lord krishna's lotus feet uh, had fallen right and if you are in jagannath puri or in sri rangam then these two places are known as bhoga mandapam so take prasad and elevate yourself <laughs> so offer yourself engage yourself uh, with the holy dham uh, harness the pure vibrations and the more you do this you know the more you will realize that you are actually you are actually protected okay and then uh, the next thing that you should do is number 4 which is you know fasting fasting is mm -hmm, very 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 important okay so especially if you are a non vegetarian or agitarian or agitarian whatever <laughs> which means if you eat eggs or if you eat egg uh, meat fish egg and all this you know then today is the day you should seriously refrain because today by default the tamasic energy is very strong and if you indulge more in it that will go to your psyche uh, very badly you know, and you will not be able to recover from it so and if you are a vegetarian then uh, please refrain from eating onion garlic today so there are different standards so if you are a if you are a non vegetarian you are a meat eater then okay for you not eating meat may be very difficult so please do it today if you are already not eating then don't eat onion garlic today <clears throat> and if you are already not eating onion garlic uh, then maybe it's good to skip the breakfast <laughs> have only lunch and if you don't eat breakfast maybe it's a good time to skip the lunch okay <laughs> and if you can then skip lunch also and then eat only at 6 pm okay if you can skip 6 pm and not eat anything whole day it's even better if you can even not drink water it's even 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 better so 
see your standard where you can okay so the best is you do complete nirjala uh, why 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 this is said because uh, when eclipses occur you know the energies you know the food and everything water gets contaminated so uh, if you eat or you do something um, not the best today okay so try to reduce your uh, food keep it to a bare minimum uh, keep it very natural and always wash your fruits properly okay and uh, it's very important that you uh, whenever you are cooking today you are chanting some mantras you know you can always keep chanting om namo bhagavate vasudevaya that will actually help you and that will actually keep you protected during the cooking okay and when you uh, complete the cooking then uh, please don't eat it uh, please offer it to lord vishnu in your mind if you have dt of uh, narayan then you can uh, do naivedya or bhog as they say you can do the offering and if you don't then uh, you can at least uh, offer to lord vishnu this in your mind okay and then you can actually uh, honor it as prasad because otherwise the tamasic energy is even more stronger okay so it's good to watch out <clears throat> and also uh, number five uh, it's very important that you uh, avoid doing sinful activities today okay or even very prominent activities you know something like Agriya Pravesh or marriage or you know something like that you know wedding uh, or ring ceremony or inaugurating your car or something like that okay uh, so any 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 auspicious activity you should avoid and also you should doubly avoid all inauspicious activities okay so like uh, for example uh, killing animals eating meat please avoid it okay meat fish eggs uh, alcohol stay very far from it and please uh, do not watch adult material in the internet at least for one day <laughs> because as i said i'm just repeating again and again and again the tamasic energy is very high so don't pollute yourself more okay the it's already polluted because of the eclipse and the war and the craziness right two two wars going on maybe even more right who knows what happens so therefore please avoid auspicious and inauspicious activities also so uh, try to avoid like going too many too much you know traveling here there too much you know unless you are going to a spiritual place or a satsang program then it's perfectly fine you can go there 10 times you can stay there whole day <clears throat> but if you have plans you know like going to watch movies or cricket or football or whatever i think there's some going something going on in the cricket world i'm not aware but i keep seeing some photos you know whatever but um, refrain <laughs> <clears throat> and also today is uh, the another thing you can do is you know you can uh, do something protective you know like protective in the sense you know like for example as i said you know you are chanting some mantras or <clears throat> if your guru has given you some uh, like you have guru mantra you know then you can chant that you know you can you can do something which you know kind of protects you okay so uh, if you have people who are doing wrong things to you you know then wrong things you know not in terms of black magic but you know, if some people are like, you know, always gossiping and, you know, bringing poison in your lives, then protect yourself. Do not uh, just give out your energy like this, you know, just just protect yourself. Be in the shell and chant the names of Lord Narasimha. That That is how you will, you will be able to uh, remain safe, okay? Otherwise, if you are just like, you know, hovering around and, uh, yeah, you are just doing whatever you want, you know, so you may be impacted very much negatively by this eclipse, okay? <clears throat> and when I say negatively, it is not maybe on a mundane level, but at a material, uh, at a spiritual sense, you know, you may become more, more and more materialistic as the next six months come. So eclipses, the result stays for the next six months, okay? So it's very important that you protect yourself, okay? And also... Uh, what is also very important for us to do is 
that we take bath. Okay, the first thing you should do tomorrow, or actually, sorry, today, <laughs> is uh, after getting up, uh, you should brush your teeth and just go and take bath. Okay, because it is very, very, very important that you take bath today. Otherwise, uh, I ideally, you should take bath three times a day. So if you can, I hope you are not in the office today, unless you are a YouTuber or a entrepreneur <laughs> or a businessman. So if you are not in the office, then if you are at home, please take bath three times, okay? Morning 6 a.m., then maybe at 12 or 1 or 2, and then again in the evening, okay? Please do that. And uh, that will actually keep your mind uh, pious and it will help you to make the right decisions in life, okay? So bathing and cleaning yourself is like... <clears throat> very important and also if you have some other purificatory rituals you know then you can do that more you know like gayatri mantra and all this you know or you do some japa together you know so that that is also very helpful <clears throat> and last but not the least you know you should try to do some charity today so try to give some donation to some nearby uh, spiritual community no, and that will actually help you uh, to get rid of your negative karmas today to some extent at least. Okay, so not that you can completely get rid of all your sins just by, you know, giving some fancy donations. It doesn't work like that. But yeah, to, to some extent you can get relief, especially if you do it today. So, and charity does, does not just mean, you know, you are doing charity of uh, your wealth, basically. You know, it can mean charity of your time also. You are giving your, you are giving your time to somebody, okay? You are helping somebody by connections or by giving knowledge, you know, by giving a ear to somebody. You know, you are not giving any suggestion, solution, just, <clears throat> uh, you're just giving any, um, you're just hearing people, okay? So this is also very important. So if you do all these eight things, then I'm very sure uh, you will feel at the end of the day that you know you are much more protected from the energy of this eclipse and it's just another day we'll pass it on, okay? Pass it off. <laughs> so therefore, uh, yeah, this was an attempt from my side to tell you what are the things that you can do. And apart from this, if you have anything in your home, as I said, if you are uh, you are doing some worship of the Kula Devata, then you can do it more today. Or you are planning to go to some spiritual community, best thing to do. And uh, yeah, reading the Srimad Bhagavatam, this is incredible, okay? So even if you can't do anything, there's one thing that you can surely do, and that is you can read the Srimad Bhagavatam. First canto, seventh canto, okay? I hope that helps you. All right. Thank you so much. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. And if you want a consultation from me, then my website is down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Thank you. And all the best. <laughs>